Have you ever struggled with tough stains on your wooden furniture or an outdoor wooden deck? Today I'm going to show you how to mix up a batch of oxalic acid. It's an easy and affordable way to breathe new life into your wooden projects. So whether it's annoying watermarks, rust spots, or just weathered wood in general, oxalic acid is a game changer for furniture restoration. Hi, I'm Sarah from Bold Wallflowers. If you like DIY woodworking or restoring old furniture, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mix step-by-step -step a batch of oxalic acid in order to use it on your next wood project. And don't worry, this is way easier than it sounds. So let's get started. Let's talk about safety first. Oxalic acid may be derived from plants, but in its powdered form, it's quite strong. So here's what you need to know to protect yourself. I recommend using gloves. You do not want to get this acid on your skin. It could cause an irritation, whether powdered or in the liquid form. Next, I always use my respirator. As mentioned, the powdered form of oxalic acid is quite strong and if inhaled, can cause damage to your lungs. When working with the powdered form, always ensure you have on your respirator. I prefer to even keep it on when I'm working on wood in its liquid form, should it dry out that um, any of the powdered form that may remain would irritate your lungs. And finally, always make sure you work in a well-ventilated area which is the case for most products you would work with in your workshop. Now mixing oxalic acid is actually super simple. You don't need many tools to do such. First of all, you're going to need a glass container. I actually use an old peanut butter container. It's glass with a plastic lid. You want to minimize or actually avoid any contact with oxalic acid with metal. Next, you will also require the powdered form of oxalic acid. I purchased mine in the Netherlands in one kilo bags where it's actually referred to as oxalzur. You'll need some warm water. I already have some in the jar here. You will need a wooden stirring stick. I have a wooden stirring stick here. Could also use plastic, but I prefer wood. And finally, you'll need a non-metallic spoon, such as your wooden spoon, for measuring the powder and adding it to the water. So let's get started. Start by pouring warm water into your jar. The amount depends on how much solution you need for your project. I'm making a medium batch, which for me is about two cups of water. Next, add the oxalic acid powder slowly, about one tablespoon at a time. Stir after each addition, and if you add too much too fast, it might clump. So keep adding and stirring until the crystals no longer dissolve. This means the solution has reached its saturation point. You're aiming for about one part oxalic acid to six parts water. You'll know the solution is ready when you see that no more acid is dissolving. Here's a tip. If the water turns cloudy and you see undissolved crystals in the bottom, you've added enough oxalic acid. Once your solution is mixed, you can store it in your glass jar with a plastic lid for up to two weeks. However, over time, the acid does break down, so it's best to use it fresh. And there you have it. Mixing oxalic acid is quick, easy, and super effective for stain removal on wood. If you're ready to restore your wood to its former glory, give oxalic acid a try. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more furniture restoration tips. And please let me know in the comments if oxalic acid has worked for you. Don't forget to check out my next video where I will show you how to apply the oxalic acid solution to your furniture. Thank you for watching.